Crown Northampton, winner of the White Sneaker Series, five generation owned business, king of the dress sneaker and manufacturer of the highest quality sneaker money can buy until today because this sneaker might be the most perfect sneaker of all time and has potential to be the highest quality sneaker money can buy. And thanks to Crown Northampton for sponsoring this video and stick around at the end of the video for a little giveaway for some Buffalo leather wallets and stick around if you disagree and prove me wrong. And Crown Northampton has a really cool long history dating all the way back to 1860 when Edwin Woodford was born. 1908, after moving to South Africa and returning, Edwin worked as a wheelwright and boot repair before opening up E. Woodford & Sons, bespoke maker and repair of footwear with his son Ernest. 1914, World War I starts and Edwin's son Ernest is injured while serving and sent home where he continued to be a boot maker and support the war effort. 1935, Edwin Woodford dies and Ernest and his son, third generation, Stanley, take over. Then in 1939, after World War II breaks out, the business suffers because of leather shortages. After Ernest's son Stanley is constricted to fight, Ernest decides to close down E. Woodford and Sons. 1946, Stanley has a son and it's a fourth generation named Andrew. Fast forward to 1971 and Andrew moves to Northampton and is working in shoe production just like the three generations before him. And later Andrew creates Chancery Leatherwear, producing moccasins for department stores. And at its peak, it employed 200 staff and made 100,000 pairs per year. Then in 1978, Andrew's son, now this is fifth generation, Chris is born. And then through the 80s, British manufacturing as a whole was going through a tough time, and the business eventually fell victim to the latest move to foreign mass production. So in 84, 85, with customers now buying their majority of stuff from Asia, Andrew had to close down Chancery Leatherwear. And then because of that, throughout the 90s, the Northampton shoemaking industry was completely decimated. Factories were closing left and right, including some really notable brands that we've covered before. And then through the 2000s and 2010s, it slowly started to build back up. And then in 2016, Andrew's son, Chris, remember the fifth generation, sets up Crown Northampton, which quickly became synonymous with quality footwear, traditional craftsmanship, and minimalist style. Then fast forward to today in 2023, and Crown Northampton is making some of the highest quality products humanly possible that you can actually buy at a decent scale. And the thing I love about this is Crown is leaning into their history, and they're proud of their history and the struggles and the rise from adversity. So now that you know the really interesting history, what is this shoe? Well, the brand is Crown Northampton. The style is the Everton Hand Stitch Whole Cut Mid. They weigh one pound, two ounces. They retail for $910 and they're made in England. So what is it that makes this shoe so special? Well, there's three things that make this shoe almost a thousand dollar. Cordovan, hole cut, and oak bark. So starting with the upper, part of the reason this shoe is so expensive is that this shoe is made from a very rare and mystical leather called Cordovan, tanned by Horween from Chicago, Illinois. So it's technically not a leather because leather is made from the skin of an animal, whereas Cordovan is a membrane sandwiched right in between the middle of a hide of a horse hide. And the only place on the entire horse that this type of leather comes from is the hindquarters, also known as the butt. So why would somebody want shell cordovan and what are these mystical properties? Well, they don't crease, they just roll. So instead of these tiny little spiderweb creases leather gets when it gets worn, cordovan has such a tight grain structure that it doesn't break like leather does. It literally just rolls and ripples. And I try to wear these for a few days so you guys could see what I'm talking about. Not a crease in sight, but that's already rolling really heavily in the toe here. So why is it so expensive? Well, horse hides are not nearly as abundant as cow hides. And if a whole horse hide is 50 square feet, the cordovan only makes up four to eight square feet on average of usable shell cordovan. And they look about like this. So not a whole lot of leather to work with. And tanning shell cordovan is a really hard process. It takes over six months and a hundred processes to tan the hide. It goes into pit tanning for a month, then it goes to trimming and shaving, back in the pits for a month, then it's stuffed, then hand smeared, and it's laid to, laid to rest, then it's rested for three months, then shaved again, and then finished. And there's only one tannery in the whole United States that makes cordovan, and it's the world famous Horween Tannery in Chicago, Illinois, who many think make the best cordovan in the world, and the, the one brand that's really put it on the map, they've been making it since 1905. So it's really rare and very pricey. It can be over 10 times the price of some of the most expensive and nice leather in the world, and 50 to 100 times pricier than the bottom of the barrel sneaker leather you see in Nikes and cheap shoes. And on the Rose Anvil 2 unboxing video of this, I go into a lot more detail of the cordovan, so go check that out. I'll put a link in the description. So now that you know that, this next section will really put the shoe in perspective, because this is a hole cut shoe. So what do I mean by hole cut? 
cut, well, a hole cut sneaker or shoe is made from a single piece of flawless leather that wraps all the way around the side to the toe, back to the other side, and has a seam only up the back stay. So what is the purpose of a hole cut shoe? Well, aesthetically, they just look really slim and sleek and about as minimalist as you get. Functionally, there's no seams to cause high pressure points or pinch points. And there's, more importantly, there's no seams, so it allows this leather to perfectly shape to the shape of your foot all the way around. So why is this process so expensive? Well, when you need this much flawless leather, and Cordovan only comes in these size of chunks, and it's 10 times the price of some of the nicest leather in the world, you can start to understand why. But that's not the only reason why, because hole cut shoes are probably the hardest style of shoe to make in the entire world. Because you have to last it perfectly, or the Cordovan can rip or bunch or get off centered and not quite be as seamless. And then once it's done lasting, you can't scratch or sand or dent the Cordovan, or you have to start all over. So you can understand why on occasion these high quality shoes have just tiny little flaws in them. And the last really big thing that makes this shoe so expensive is the use of oak bark tan leather. And this is used in the heel and the toe counter and in the insole. If you thought six months of tanning was a really long process, check this shit out. It starts pretty obviously with oak trees. The bark is stripped off in the spring and then ground up into chunks. Then it's shipped to the tanneries where it's kept for two to three years to fully dry out. Then they soak it in cold water to draw out the preserving tannins, almost like a cold tea. Next, the hides are suspended into pits full of that oak bark tea for three months straight. Then the coolest part happens, where they take all the hides out of the water and stack them on top of each other in a really deep pit dug into the ground at the foundation of the tannery. And then they sprinkle little bits of oak bark tan between each layer of the leather as they stack it up in this big pit. Then they seal that pit up and just let it sit undisturbed for nine months straight. Then after the nine months, they open up the pits, bring the hides out, rinse them off, and then the finishing process begins. It can take weeks to months. So that's an over year long process to take raw flesh and slowly chemically convert it with bark from a tree into leather. And due to the slow undisturbed process, the fiber structure doesn't get loosened up or broken down by constant movement. It stays solid and tight, making it some of the strongest and longest lasting and most durable leather in the entire world. And that's why you only see it in shoes $500 and up. So that's the three big and, and fun to explain reasons why these shoes are so unique and expensive. But there's plenty of other crazy little details that you may, might not have noticed. Like the whole lining is a really high quality veg tan leather. It has a dedicated counter cover, has little handwritten details on the inside. Lacte Hovea soles made from the excretions of the crying wood tree. That's not made up. That's a, a legitimate sentence. It also has these little hand sewn elements around the shoe to reinforce specific spots. And one little detail that would really go unnoticed unless you knew what it was is the French binding that wraps all the way around the collar down through the tongue and all the way back around and this is not done by a machine that's automated to wrap this and make it so there's no exposed raw edges this is done with a highly skilled person wrapping this around and sewing it on a sewing machine and you're like okay that seems pretty easy but look at the toe imagine getting that corner to wrap around and make it so seamlessly without making any mistakes to ruin the shell cordovan it's a wild process that has to be perfect and there's a bunch of other teeny little details that we don't have time to cover in this video so what we're going to do with the other half that we don't cut, we're gonna do a full dissection, cutting it stitch by stitch, peeling it apart layer by layer so you guys can see this exploded view of this shoe and fully understand why they chose certain materials and what materials were used. So that's over on the Rose Anvil Builds channel, so go check that out. And now, unfortunately, it's time to cut these in half. Okay, we got them cut in half, and I'm not joking when I say these are probably the most painful shoes we've ever cut in half. For sure shoes, and it's it might be the, even compared to boots, it might be the hardest thing. Because you'll see on the inside, there's a perfect footprint, fits me perfectly, it's already rolling and folding. But let's see what's inside. So 
So what's on the inside of a thousand dollar sneaker? Well, you've got a top layer of nice vegetable tan leather insole with a little bit of foam underneath to give you some squish. Then you have that really thick layer of oak bark tan leather. And then underneath there is a layer of cork all the way through the midsole. They got that Lacte Avea sole. You can see the oak bark tan counters and the toe and the heel. And this cordovan is a thick piece of cordovan, actually. Let me actually I happen to have my caliper right here. This, this cordovan is two millimeters thick. So it's a nice heavy slab of cordovan. You can even see really close to that toe, that French binding I was talking about. And even more so with this style of construction, you can see my footprint, even after just a few days worth of wear, is, is perfectly imprinted in there, like almost like you put your hand in cement. And that's what really makes these uh, uh, more comfortable above and beyond even normal sneakers because this Lacte Havea sole is so squishy and you get the custom footprint. And now you can see all those little teeny details that you would never see unless you literally cut these in half. But is it worth the nearly thousand dollar price tag? Well, it depends on what you mean by worth. And I, there's kind of three different things I look at. The first one is if you only value wares per dollar, you can get a lot more bang for your buck out there from a lot of different shoes, even though this shoe could be resold several times. If you only value the cost material materials and labor per dollar spent, I think this is pretty fairly priced. It's still nearly $1,000, but we went through the materials and the labor that goes into this, and I think it's a pretty fair argument to say that they're fairly priced. Finally, if you value a product attempting to be the absolute best of something in the entire world with no compromises and no corners cut, that's what this is. It's a piece of functional art to me. And, I, and I'm not being hyperbolic just for this video. I really do view it in that way. So is this the highest quality sneaker in the entire world? To me, it's hard to say that it's not. It's hard to say that it's not the most perfect sneaker in the entire world. But what makes this more impressive is that this is not just a one man shop making one pair every month. This is a five generation owned family business following their passion and pursuit of perfection in footwear. They kept it alive through five generations, even when their businesses didn't. And they built it back up to a point where you can actually get a pair a man's attempt to make the most perfect sneaker in the entire world. And I think they did it. And just like all sponsored videos, if you disagree with me, prove me wrong. And I've been, I've been wrong plenty of times before, but if you think I'm wrong, make sure you back up your argument with what specifically you disagree with and why, otherwise it doesn't do anyone any good. And the really rare thing about our comment section is it's a really good resource for people to have really healthy discussions without a lot of chaos going on there. And it's been that way through the whole channel. So thank you guys for keeping the comment section an actual resource for people that watch these videos. And now for sticking around or skipping to the end of the video, it's time for the giveaway. And so Crown also makes these in a really cool Horween Buffalo leather and Crown sent us a whole hide of this. And so we decided to make as many of our Claude wallets out of it as possible. And we ended up with 75 Claude wallets. It kind of cost us a fortune to make all of them. So what we're gonna do is we're giving away 25 in this video, 25 in the full dissection on Rose Anvil builds, and then 25 more when I wear these for three to six months and do a follow-up wear review. So to enter to win, all you gotta do is sign up for the limited edition email list where you're gonna get first dibs and early access to all the limited edition stuff we do like collabs. And if you're already signed up, just fill it out again. It's not gonna change anything. And it's US only because the shipping's so pricey and it's already cost us a fortune. And you'll also be added to Crown's email list. So no pressure, it's literally just for free. It's just a way for us to thank you guys for supporting these videos and just to do some fun stuff because when the channel does well I like to try to give stuff back to you guys so thank you guys for watching and let me know what you think and if there is a more perfect shoe out there let me know I just I just really highly doubt it so thank you guys for watching and everything that you do this is literally a dream come true. this is the funnest job in the entire world and I couldn't do it without your guys's help so thank you guys and thanks again to Crown Northampton for sponsoring this video see ya